Hello, hello, folks. I'm Ryder Boost again, and here to make a short video about AutoCAD 2018 that came out in March 2017. This video mainly focuses on installation of AutoCAD 2018 and first run. But before you can actually start with an installation, you do need to get those installation files. You can use Autodesk website autodesk.com slash autocad or your Autodesk account manage.autodesk.com. In this video, I will use autodesk.com option. The easiest way to start installation procedure is using free trial option, either from the top menu or clicking on download free trial. Then you can select the version of AutoCAD you want to install. And as you see, you need to be signed in meaning that you need to have Autodesk account to be able to download installation files. Don't worry, it doesn't mean that you have to have a license. You just need to have account, free account to use trial as well. So, because I do have from my previous licenses account already, I hit sign in. But if you don't have it, you need to just create account and it's quite an easy step. So sign in, I use my email and of course password, sign in. I can then select language, which version I want to install. I pick English. I can also use Download Manager to download all needed files first and then start installation basically offline. Another option I will use right now is carrying out a web install, meaning that I hit begin download and during installation all other files are downloaded as well. So I hit begin download. I then agree with license and services agreement and hit continue. This file is not a full package yet. It's just a starting position to this installation. So I hit save to save that file to my desktop. I minimize my browser window. I can see this file is on my desktop. I double click on it. During this step, additional files will be downloaded, but again, not all files yet, because some of those are only needed if you want to have that feature to be installed, meaning that during your selections, what you would like to see in your machine, also some additional files will be downloaded. So I hit yes to continue, my setup goes on, as you also see, downloading continues. After my installer has loaded, I basically have two options. I can install tools and utilities or install AutoCAD 2018 using this install option. But let's check first install tools and utilities. Left click. I can see that actually I can pick network license manager if I need to use network license and also if I want to have a cleaner look how products are used then maybe also Autodesk CAD manager tools are needed. Right now I skip the installation of those options and I hit back. Before I move forward with installation, I would like to point out those three links, installation help, system requirements, and read map. It's important that uh, you check system requirements first before you continue with installation, because from there you actually get more information what are hardware requirements so that you can run AutoCAD 2018 successfully. Right now I continue with install. I then read license agreement, I accept terms and conditions, hit next, and then I can see what options I do have with this installation package. Of course, main interest may be AutoCAD 2018, but with each and every AutoCAD license, there is also Autodesk Recap. So Recap is basically your first tool that can be used to edit point cloud data. I first click on AutoCAD 2018 to see actually different subcomponents and I can then select which ones I do want to install and which one I don't. For example, Exchange App Manager. It can be used to simplify the process when you install different plugins on top of AutoCAD. There is also Exchange Featured Apps that gives some recommendations to your workflow, meaning that maybe there is some special plugin again that helps you to do things in more effective way. Remember that those plugins can be free or paid versions. 
I usually select AutoCAD Performance Reporting Tool and Installation Type, Typical or Custom. If I select Custom, I can see which components will be installed. But uh, right now again I go back to Typical because all those components are then installed anyway. So I do have Express Tools here, selectable as well. And of course Create Desktop Shortcut, so I select this one as well. I now hit again AutoCAD 2018. Now this Autodesk Recap doesn't have any additional options, that is why if I try to click on it, it doesn't change its shape. But if I don't want to install this component, I can remove this mark. I can also see that from previous installation, I already have A360 desktop, so I don't need to install that one again. It is basically used to collaborate and to share your files through the cloud. Of course, I can select installation path. I use the default one, C Program Files Autodesk, and then I can see how much disk space is required to install all those products and features. I am safe here, so I click Install. Because I picked Web Install, it means that before it can actually install some component, it needs to be downloaded first. And that is why I need to have a good internet connection during installation as well. I can also see how much files will be downloaded, and I can see also the number of components, which may differ when you start AutoCAD installation in your machine, because some components may be already installed, or just the opposite. You may need to install additional components. Anyway, we need to wait when the installation finishes, and then we can also see which components were actually installed. When the installation is finished, you should see a list of different products and components that were successfully installed. For example, AutoCAD, Recap and also some additional plugins. You can close this dialog using Launch Now and it will load automatically AutoCAD 2018. Of course, you also have an icon on your desktop, AutoCAD 2018. When you start AutoCAD 2018 first time, and you have also installed some previous versions like AutoCAD 2017, then it's possible to migrate previous settings to new version. But you can do that also later. For example, right now, I don't want to do that, and I hit Cancel. AutoCAD continues to load. I also may get a notification how to associate DWG files. Right now I pick do not associate and my AutoCAD 2018 user interface will be loaded because I downloaded AutoCAD from Autodesk website and during installation there was actually no window to where to put installation key. It basically means that right now I'm running AutoCAD in trial mode. Of course I can straight on go to activation procedure, meaning that I can click already have a license. But right now I'm continuing to use a trial version and I can do that up to 30 days. So I close this notification. In general, if you have used previous version of AutoCAD, then 2018 doesn't feel so much different, meaning that user interface is quite the same. If you are a new user, then it's better to go to start tab then learn and look some getting started videos. If you are current user, meaning that you have used AutoCAD before, then quite important thing to mention is that if you save your drawing, the drawing format is now changed and it is called AutoCAD 2018 DWG. Before that, we used 2013. It means, of course, that you are not able to share 2018 drawing with previous version users you have to convert that. From a help file, you can actually see that there are many, many different optimizations in that new drawing format. And that is why it is recommended to use that new format. Right now, I hit cancel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please do subscribe to see more of those or even videos about different workflows in those new products. Bye bye.